Hi everyone, I'm Dan Fullerton, and in this lesson we're going to talk about the beat phenomenon, or beats. So our objectives are going to be to explain the phenomena of beats in terms of interference of waves with slightly differing frequencies, and to calculate the beat frequency when two waves interfere with each other. So let's start off by talking about what beats are. Well, when we have two waves that have very similar but not exactly the same frequencies, they're going to interfere with each other. And this interference, if we're talking about sound wave, sound waves results in an alternating loud quiet pattern. That loud quiet pattern at a much lower frequency that's at the difference of those two frequencies is called the beat frequency, the beat phenomena. So let's get into it a bit further. If we have, for example, a 4 hertz wave and a 5 hertz wave, and we're going to have them in the same medium at the same time, they can interfere with each other. When they do that, we put them together and they overlap and we add up all their amplitudes at all the different points along the wave, we get a pattern that looks kind of like this, where the overriding loud soft pattern, the alternating amplitudes, is what we call beats. Now with the 4 and a 5 hertz wave, that's below the threshold of human hearing, so we can't actually hear it there, but we'll test it out with a higher frequency here in just a moment. The beat frequency itself, how quickly you get that alternating loud soft pattern, can be calculated as the absolute value of the difference of the two frequencies of the waves that are interfering with each other. So if you had a 440 hertz wave and a 441 hertz wave and they interfered with each other, your beat frequency would be 1 hertz. All right, let's check this out. Let's play a 440 hertz sound wave. By itself, not all that exciting. Now let's play a 441 hertz sound wave. Again, not very exciting by itself and probably pretty tough for us to differentiate between those two waves. But if we put those two together, if we play the sum of those two waves, we play them at the same time, listen to what we get. All right, now are you hearing that beat frequency? You're hearing the beat phenomenon at a frequency of one hertz because the difference between our two waves, 440 and 441, is one hertz. Our beat frequency is one hertz then. Let's try it again. We'll do a 440 hertz sound wave. All right, now the 442 hertz sound wave. And now we'll put them together. Now we should expect a beat frequency of 2 hertz. And you should be able to hear that change in volume is happening twice as fast, 2 times per second. Let's do a quick application. If you play a string instrument like a guitar, oftentimes you use beats to help tune the strings. If you're playing two strings where you expect the same tone, the same frequency, if you play them very, they're very close together, it's awfully tough for the human here to, to distinguish between those two. So instead of listening for differences in the tone, you listen for differences in, or differences in the pitch, I should say, you listen for differences in the amplitude. You listen for that beat phenomenon. If you hear that beat phenomenon, you adjust the strings until that beat phenomenon goes away, which indicates that they are, they are uh, producing sound at the same frequency. All right, taking a look at a sample problem. While tuning her guitar, Sandra plays an A note on the fifth string at exactly 110 hertz. She then frets the sixth string to produce the same tone, but here's a beat pattern where the loudest amplitude occurs twice each second. So the beat frequency two times per second must be two hertz. Assuming the fifth string is in perfect tune, which of the following could be the frequency of the out of tune sixth string? Well, if the fifth is in tune at 110 hertz, and the beat frequency is 2 hertz, that means that the out of tune string must either be 2 hertz above or 2 hertz below. So that would give us possible answers of A or D. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on beat phenomenon in the realm of wave interference. Hope you're having a great time. Thank you for your attention and make it a great day, everyone.